Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now, this is another Glow Recipe product. Um, it's a mist spray. Um, I'm going to show you guys me using it real quick and what I think about it, whether or not you should get it. So, if you want to know more, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Before we get into the review, first, hit the subscribe button because you're going to love all of the great reviews that I make here for this channel. Also hit the notification bell, that way when I go live or post something new, you will be the first to know, okay? So Glow Recipe, love, love, love their products. Um, everything from the eye cream to the moisturizer, the pink jelly moisturizer, so many products from Glow Recipe that I like. Um, this is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist Hydrating and Glow Radiance, right? So basically you shake it up, um, let all the things mix. It has a little spray and you spray it on your face and there you go. So as you can see the glow is back. Not that I ever lost it but you know the glow is revived. And I do think this is a great product if you, especially if you have dry skin or you wear a lot of makeup. Now, the reason why I say it for those two is that um, I have combination skin and for the, like, I'm dry here, I'm dry a little bit here, um, that's pretty much where I'm dry at. And when I do spray this on my face, it does feel more moisturized, it feels like it brings life back to my face throughout the course of the day. Um, I don't know if it's just the heat or the still air. Or if it's the blue light or what. But being in front of these screens all the time. I just feel like it's increasing the dryness. And the dry parts of my face. So having this on the side. Just spray 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 real quick. Not buying too many electronic devices. But you know. Just to revive my face. Bring it back to life. Have her um, get the bounce back. Um, another thing that happens to me now. Is when I take my mask off. My face might be like sweating and then I'll wipe the sweat and then now where I just wipe my face off, it's dry and it's like, okay, so I'll spray some of this to bring it back to life. Um, so that's where I mean like dry skin people, how this could be a cute thing for you to use. Um, in terms of makeup wearers, uh, wearers, <laughs> make people who wear a lot of makeup, when you put the powder to start controlling your oil or if you have like foundation and concealer throughout the day as the moisture and the oil leaves the foundation and the concealer it leaves the color behind but it can make it look dry and a little cakey and not so much that you look cakey in general but you looked flawless when you first left the house but now it's getting a little more on the dry end and what you can do is then especially I've done this a lot especially with these powder foundations that um Fenty I've been wearing that a lot um looks real great but when I go to re-up and put more powder sometimes I can overdo it so it's like okay I put a little too much powder to go back in so what I'm going to do is spray a little bit of this mist it'll bring the powder foundation to look more lifelike more of a satin matte natural kind of finish and I don't look cakey anymore now this does have a very strong fragrance so it's very much watermelon candy so if you are sensitive to fragrances, then this wouldn't be a good look. Um, also, there are other products that do those two things in terms of spraying it on your face to revive it and um, they're more affordable. So the Evian spray, I really, really love. That's my favorite is the Evian spray. You get the two in the pack and they now have like the big jumbo ones if you go to like Ricky's or someplace like that. They probably even have their own website. I just never got it directly from them. But love, love, love the Evian spray. Fenty Makeup Setting Spray Mist is also a refreshing mist. So that could do the same thing. Same thing for Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip Refreshing Mix. Same thing with MAC Skin Plus. There are a lot of other things that you could use to revive dry skin and to revive makeup that have less fragrance cost less money and are more widely available like so I do think that if you get the set with all the other things in it and that's how I got this like I didn't buy this separately if you get the set with all the other things in it and then you get this it's an added bonus but in terms of looking for a hydrating spray um 
I don't know that I would say this is like the number one or the best. It didn't do anything above and ab beyond amazing for my skin that other sprays haven't done. So with this price point, I just feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be Glow Recipe. But it was cute that it came in the kit. Um, and it's a great product. It's a good product. I do like it. But it just didn't change my life for me to be like, this is the one hydrating mist. I'm also just like... I know I had a few people who I knew that when they would go out and about in real life, they'd just be like, oh, I'm not even wearing any makeup and I'm remisting my face. But um, I don't see how practical this really is for all the time because, um, like I said, if you're a makeup wearer and then you are carrying the little baggie with all the things in it, then to add this in to spray your face is fine. But in terms of just like a regular person with their pocketbook, I don't see them walking around with facial spray. Like, that just doesn't... I don't see that so I think it's a good product like I said it's just strong fragrance and high price point but you know that's glow recipe for you nothing's gonna be affordable from them I looked at their display in Sephora the other day and the lip balm is $20 I was like but their stuff works so that's why the price points up there so uh, that's my two cents on the watermelon glow ultra fine mist from glow recipe if you have it and you have some other way that you use it that Maybe before you put on your skincare, or before you do a scrub or something, please let me know. I would love to try using this in different ways, alright? So thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next time.